If anybody needs the air on, please do just give a little shout and we'll get some, some more cool air in here if everybody's okay. Thank you <laughs> for the kind weather. <laughs> Marin was a little hot yesterday, but we don't mind. Okay, so this is how we're going to switch. So you look down towards center, the left, the swing slides into the left wrist, and then we're going to pull it overhead. Okay, so thread your hands through, so both hands are thread through, and then lean your heart forward. So drop your heart and let your underbelly of the arms stretch deeply. Clasp your hands together. Try a little sway from side to side. See how that feels, bending one knee and then the other knee. Just play a little bit in the space. Let it feel good. And then from here, just gonna turn around so you guys can see. We're gonna do a little bit of strengthening. So this is a little bit more of the Pilates, etheric style. What we wanna do is strongly press our arms into the swing and lift with our belly. So see if you can avoid using your back and get the arm strength. So this is gonna come in handy when we try our superfly snooker today, which we're gonna do a little flying. So if we don't have this strength to lift our chest, it's gonna be really hard to do when we're, when we're in the air and our legs are wrapped up. Okay, so see if you can be real honest with it and inhale and lift, lift, lift with the arms. Very nice, that's really good. Exhale, drop and pause and relax at the bottom. Inhale, lift and press. Exhale, let yourself just relax and expand down. One more time, inhale, press, all the way up. Press, 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 press. Okay, so then we're gonna hook our opposite elbow. So our right elbow goes over top and we're gonna do the second side. Okay? Good. Okay, so we're here. <laughs> we pull down strongly with the right. Twist and look up towards the sky. And then if you wanna go a little bit deeper, reach over for your right ankle. There you go. Long line of energy from the tailbone to the crown of the head and twist on axis from the neck. Okay, press your feet strongly away from one another. The more you pull down with that right elbow, the deeper the stretch. Roll your neck around, roll your head around if it's too much. Awesome. One more breath here. Inhale back to center. And now second side, we slide into the right. Bring it overhead. And now both hands clasp. Bend the elbows a lot. Great. So stay here if you're happy. Really ground into your feet. Spread your sit bones, drop your heart. Nice deep cleansing breath. Really feel that stretch all the way through the scapula, the wings of the back. And if you wanna do a little bit more strengthening, we're gonna inhale and press the arms straight and do a tricep curl and come up to stand. Use the belly, don't use the back. Exhale back down nice and slow. The slower you go and more controlled, the deeper the strengthening and the stretch. Inhale up. Beautiful. Exhale down. Let it go at the bottom. Inhale up. We're just going to do a couple more and then we're going to come into some forward folds. Stay with me. Exhale, release. Very nice. Inhale, stretch. Stretch, 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 stretch. And then stay up. We're going to just wiggle our feet together. Heel toe and we're down to whatever feels good. Okay? So now the swing is going to stretch all the way down into our hip flexors. Yeah, it's a big stretch. We're going to straighten the arms. Now, it's not going to be at the belly. It's not very comfortable in the bladder. It's going to be all the way down. And now you're going to lean forward. You have to trust the swing to hold you. Lean forward and come into a forward fold. You got it. Really good. Now, if you need a little bit of adjustment with your hands on the ground, just lift the leg and kind of give it a little shimmy, and you can get it into the sweet spot. There really is a spot that's sweeter than the others. <laughs> just see if you can find it. Okay? Okay. So from here, drop all your weight forward so you're on the balls of the feet, and then reach back, hip distance with the feet, reach back and grab the ankles if it's comfortable. It is a little intense on the hip flexors. Just rock back and forth a little bit, massage out that space. It gets really sticky in there, and that's also a congestion point for the lymphatics. You can walk your feet back a little bit, shuffle in. Yeah. Is that okay? Do you yeah. have to swing lower? You're right. Yeah, well, that's good. I think that's good. Okay, good. Anybody need anything? You good? <laughs> Somebody's like frozen yogurt? Yeah. <laughs> you want to go a little higher? Okay, good. So go ahead and take care of him. So if anybody wants to stretch 
the back of the neck. We've been doing a lot of neck today. Just clasp your hands behind the occipital ridge and pull straight down. Just get a nice little massage going in there. So remember to ground through the balls of the feet, energetically lengthen through the calves by grounding the heels, although they might not touch. And then let all your body weight drop over. So you're draping the upper torso down towards the ground. And again, just let gravity do the work for you. Stay engaged but relaxed. If anybody wants to go a little deeper, clasp your hands behind your head, behind your back, and then pull the clasped hands over your head. If you want to do a little twist from side to side, this also can feel really good. If you're not there, your shoulders aren't super happy doing that. Just go back to another variation. And then we're slowly going to release, bring your hands back to the sacrum, and then down to the ground. Okie dokie. Let's come into our folded leaf. We're going to start to float a little bit in this pose. So bend your elbows, pick your feet up, and then land on your forearms. So feet stay lower than the hips. Dan, lower than the hips. There you go. <laughs> if you bring your feet up too high, you will slide out. The hip. The hip point is our anchor, so we want to make sure we have a nice right angle with our with our legs. Okay. Cool. So one of the things you can do is just bring your legs a little bit wider so she can fit. <laughs> you guys are okay. Awesome. So if you just kind of fit like Lego pieces together if you need to make room for your neighbor. So from here we're going to press our arms straight. So wrists are right underneath the shoulders. So it's like we're in plank pose, right? So walk your hands forward, Lisa, okay? Beautiful, awesome. Now Lisa, if you wanna bring your legs out wide in a V, you'll have enough room for the neighbor behind you. Do you wanna do that or you can keep the knees bent? Okay, whatever way you're happy. Thank you for accommodating one another. Okay, the back person needs to bend your knees down into your chest. There you go, beautiful. Pull yourself forward a little bit more. Okay, cool. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to bring knee to the elbow on the right and then shift back. Knee to the elbow on the left and shift back. Just really gentle and slow. Try rocking back and forth and seeing how that feels. It'll be a little intense on the hip flexors, but just work with it. Straight arms if you can. Beautiful. Awesome. So now try both knees. Try holding it in crow and then extending again. So pulling forward and then sinking back. And then from there, we're gonna keep the legs straight. You can keep the knees bent here too, if you'd like, and just try some chaturangas. Tiny little mini push-ups. <laughs> no big deal push-ups, I call them. Okay? So you're just gonna basically mimic the shape of it until we get the arm strength to do full handstand push-ups, which we will get there. And then come back down, arms are straight now, land it in a down dog. So now we're in a V-shape of the body, Sway your hips from side to side. Just let it feel good to have that swagger. Release your head, release your neck. Strongly press down through your palms so your lower body, your hips can have some more movement. Now see what it's like to have the freedom to have your down dog take some loopy loops, some figure eights, some circles. Okay. So from down dog, let's try doing a little cat's, cat's meow. We're gonna inhale. Look forward and arch. There you go. Exhale, round in. So pull in all the energy, tuck the energy in towards your navel. Inhale, arch and open. It's like a cat cow and a down dog got together. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, open. Really good. Exhale, squeeze. One more time. Inhale, open and arch. And from here, let's lift our right leg. Look up. And then exhale, pull the knee into the chest and squeeze. Again, inhale, look forward and open. I roll into my fingertips. And then exhale, I cross back. Squeeze it. So I'm rounding in. It's called the cat's meow. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. And one more time, inhale, lift. Beautiful. Exhale, lower that foot down to the ground. Down dog, sway it out a little bit again. This time, bend your elbows, relax your upper body, and just let yourself sway from side to side. Play a little bit in the space. See what it's like to hang and twist and float a little bit. Just let it feel good wherever you're at. 
I know your hip flexors are talking to you. I can hear them. <laughs> We're going to come out in just a minute. Just a couple more minutes. We'll be done with this sequence. Inhale, lift the, the left leg up. Arch and open. Exhale, squeeze it in. If you can, keep the right foot grounded. Inhale, open. And squeeze. Inhale, lift. Arch. Exhale, bring it in. Now, you guys are not arching on the inhale, so arch and open. Lift the chest. There you go. Stretch the belly, and then exhale, round it in. Right. Just get that maximum length in the spine. Inhale, up. Exhale, just land it. So, there's a few different things we can do from here. I would like to just give it a try and do an upside down dog. It takes a little bit <laughs> of assistance. Let's see if we can inhale and arch, open up the heart. Ex when we exhale, the foot is gonna hook outside in. Okay, just ignore the leg loop for a minute. Outside in. There you go, keep the body nice and long. And then do second side. Lift both feet and try it. Outside in, you got it. Keep the knees down. Pull the knees towards the mat. Awesome. Good job, guys. Okay, upside down dog, right? Totally worth it. Takes a little bit of doing, but we're here. So I want you to pull yourself forward like you're coming into a handstand. Beautiful, guys. And now exhale, press back like we just did before. Just a few undulations. Beautiful. Inhale, up. Lift. Exhale, press back. One more, pull forward. Now, if you're happy, just do that for a few more breaths. If you want to try some push-ups here, bring your hands back underneath you and do a few chaturangas. Notice that they're a little bit harder now. There you go. If you're into the strengthening portion, this would be it. And then if you want to do really hard ones, you can put your hands right underneath your body and do handstand push-ups, which are really hard. <laughs> Only do them if you, if it makes you happy. Yeah. If it doesn't make you happy, be happy where you are. Okay, so this, is our, this is our happy place. Okay, great, <laughs> good job, guys. Okay, so come back down to your elbows. We're gonna just hang out in a headstand, supported headstand. Your feet are still hooked, your knees are pulling down towards the ground. Don't lose your anchor there. Just come into the tripod where you clasp your fingers and you let your head rest in between. Okay, forearms press down. The head is just barely touching, right? If there's a lot of weight on your head, engage your forearms, engage your shoulders. Just let yourself hang. So headstand being the king of all postures can be very challenging. You guys all look really great. Just pull your knees down a little bit more. Thank you. Yeah. If our knees float up, we will slide out. So yeah, thank you. Beautiful, guys. Five more deep breaths. Just let it feel good to relax into a pose. He's actually fine like that. He's a little bit more advanced. So see if you can come onto your forearms and just relax into it. Cool. So it's really nice to be supported in a pose that would normally be unaccessible to us for so long. So just gain the benefits, the king of all postures, without straining the neck and shoulders. Really nice, guys. And of course, there's all kinds of tricks we can do from here. We'll be, doing, we'll be doing more of that tomorrow. We're coming back. <laughs> so we're going to come out of this nice and slow. The first thing we're going to do is start to straighten our arms. Come back through handstand. Okay? Slowly release the feet down to the ground one at a time. Revisit your down dog. Maybe shake out your head. Wiggle your hips a little bit. Just undulate your legs. And then you're going to walk forward into a wide straddle. Okay, last little intensity on the hips. Reach for your ankles and just rock forward and back from heel to toe. Okay, so see if you can push all the way forward. 